Hey everybody, Santa back again still Tuesday, September 19 here. I just got a quick video update to tell you about. Not very good video, not very good news. Uh, as I told you before, Ford had the part that I was looking for. Uh, they have it in their hands now in Cabana Tuan. Uh, so they were starting to put the transmission back together. And uh, one of the other parts that uh, they got from the factory in Thailand is wrong. Does not fit. They sent them the wrong torque converter. So if it's not one thing, it's another. And uh, he already called them and checked. And the new part, the new torque converter that we need is way more expensive like double the price over 200,000 pesos that's four thousand dollars more than that just for one part my whole job is going to cost about 200,000 they want 200,000 just for one part they're crazy lunatics man where they get these prices from i thought it was cheaper to live in the philippines don't buy a ford so now I have to go to Cabana Tuan tomorrow, grab the part from the dealer, and try to find it myself. He said, don't buy a used one because you don't know if it's going to be any good. A lot of people are selling used ones. Uh, he said, make sure it's brand new. So I posted on the uh, Ford website, um, on my uh, Facebook, Ford uh, owners, Ranger owners, and I got a bunch of responses, but most of the people don't have the correct one either. There was a couple people that did, uh, but some of them were used. And uh, they're all over the country also. So even if you find one, you got to go here, you got to go there. Um, I might have to make another trip to Quezon City, where Adam lives, where we went last time, and see if they have one over that way. Uh, one person had a whole bunch of them, but they were all all used. Uh, he showed me a big pile of them, picture of it, pile of them. Torque converters, all different kinds. But I have to have a specific one. It's just unbelievable, people, what I have to go through. So now I have to go to Cabana Tuan and then maybe Manila again. Then I have to ask for help getting around. What a pain. What a pain in the neck, people. Uh, and then the used parts probably, st I mean, not used. Uh, the, I to get a new one. It's probably still going to cost 100,000 pesos. That's still $2,000. Even... Um, it's cheaper, yeah. It's going to save me a few thousand, but it's still going to be a major pain. So that's the deal, everybody. Really frustrating. And then on top of that, tomorrow she's got to go to some uh, parade in town where they're parading everybody that's running for government all morning long. She said she'll be home in the afternoon. And i got to leave Cabana Tuan in the morning. So she said she's going to take... Uh, James with her. I don't know how that's going to work. And then Catherine's going to go to school and the caretakers will pick her up, drop her off. And then I'll be gone. Uh, I may be gone overnight. I might have to stay overnight somewhere, probably Sogo, uh, if I'm going to Manila. If I can't find it in Cabana Tuan anywhere or close by Cabana Tuan. Uh, oh, by the way, this isn't a ring. It's to hold my ponytail. I just took a shower, <laughs> in case you're wondering. <laughs> anyway, if I can't find it in Cabana Tuan or near Cabana Tuan, I have to go farther. I have to go to Manello on the street that has all the parts places. So it really sucks, people. The saga of the truck continues. I thought I was almost home base. I thought it was going to be done by Monday, and now another part needed. Crazy. I wish I had known all this in the beginning. I would have bought a whole new transmission, saved myself a lot of trouble. 
because there are people that have uh, those I know for sure in Manila whole new transmission could just pop it right in but it's too late it's too late for that I can't do it now so this sucks everybody but I wanted to fill you in on what's going on so I'll see you tomorrow and come back to on uh, actually my friend Daniel He's going to go to Cabana Tuan tomorrow also, but he's not leaving till later. And some people are driving him there. Uh, he's got to take care of some business. So, But I might run into him at the Sogo Hotel because he's got to spend the night also. So maybe if I do that, you'll get to meet him tomorrow in Cabana Tuan. So I'm going to try to hook up with him and at least have dinner with him and do something. We'll see. But stay tuned. The saga continues. It's crazy. Like and subscribe. It's free. Hit that notification bell to get the newest videos. God bless everyone. Santa Claus over and out.